Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Sammy Bringus. Today is Tuesday, November 16th, and we're here with your morning announcements. If you paid for Fall Palooza pictures, you can pick them up in the photo room, HF Photo. Stu Student Equity Council has created several posters around campus with fun facts about Native American Heritage Month. On each poster, there is a QR code like the one shown to an interactive trivia. The first three people to answer all the questions correct correctly will be given a prize during advocacy on Thursday. Be sure to fill out the form by Wednesday night. Attention all students who are interested in the spring musical. We will be hosting audition workshops for Cinderella on the following dates. On Tuesday, November 30th from 3.30 to 5, there is a dance workshop in the COHS dance room. On Wednesday, December 1st from 3.30 to 5, vocal workshop in the COHS band room. And finally, Thursday, December 2nd from 3.30 to 5, dance and vocal brush up. Don't forget to come dressed and prepare to move. Now let's pass it on over to Ashley for our In the News update. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Ashley Borton, and I'm here with your In the News update. Between the border of Belarus and Poland, tensions have been rising between the immigrants and the Polish. Many have stayed in the cold, icy weather, hurling stones at the Polish security forces. The Polish using tear gas and water cannons to keep the immigrants away. Many of these people have spent thousands to get them and their families out of their countries in an attempt to make it to the edge of the European Union. Belarusian security officers were believed to have instigated the conflict, expressing how the only way to enter would be through force. Next stop, between November 18th through 19th, there will be a partial lunar eclipse, which will be visible in Europe, Asia, Australia, North and West Africa, North and South America, the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, and the Arctic. For the Sacramento area, this eclipse will start at 10.02 a.m. and ends at 4.03 p.m. on November 19th. This partial lunar eclipse is going to be a part of a series of four large eclipses. That's all I have for you today in the news. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Ashley. Attention seniors, on the screen is a link to a document containing very important information regarding senior year. This document will be updated throughout the year as more things are finalized. Are you ready to fall into break? Get excited for games like tug of war, potato sack races with photo ops, music, and more during both lunches on Friday. Don't forget to wear your class's fall-themed colors for this spirit day. Freshmen are orange, sophomore are yellows, I mean, sophomores are yellow, juniors wear brown, and seniors wear red. We hope to see you dressed up on Friday. Man, I'm hungry. Aren't you, Sammy? I sure am. Let's check out Cooking with the Pack. Good morning, Wolfpack. Welcome back to Cooking with the Pack. We have today some mini pumpkin pies. So for my family this year, we're doing mini pumpkin pies as their place here. So, so we've taken a muffin pan, we've put little pie crust inside, and then my sister is gluten-free, so we have some small ramekins that we're just going to pour the custard filling into. So we've got one can of pumpkin puree, and since I paid for it, I'm going to make sure all of the stuff comes out of the can. Then two eggs. So we're going to mix up our eggs and pumpkin puree first, and then we're going to put in our cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, sugar, and a little bit of salt. This all gets mixed together. And since it's a custard, we want to make sure that we are not putting in too much air, hence my spatula and not my whisk. We're just going to push it all together to make this beautiful homogeneous mixture. Now we'll switch and add in our evaporated milk. Notice if I whisk it now, it's going to get super messy, right? So we're going to swip out our spatula for our whisk, and we're going to do little swirls inside until it all comes together. All right, there you have it, ready for the tins now. So you just pinch the edges. You can also use a fork. You can get super fancy with these. You're gonna fill them about three-fourths the way full. And see how I'm pulling up just a little bit before it drips? We wanna make sure that it's not dripping on the side of the pan. All right, and these babies are gonna go into the oven at 425 for 10 minutes and then 375 for another 15 or 20. I'm getting your 
Thanks for cooking with the pack. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Sammy Bringus. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Take, Take a Hike Day, Wolf Pack. <laughs>